Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be doing exactly what you can see on the screen. So on the screen you can see we have got a level complete user interface. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a little checkpoint in the level and when the player actually goes over that checkpoint it's going to tell them the level is complete, the amount of time that they've got remaining and it's also going to give them a little button that they can press to return to the menu. Now it's really really simple and there's only one graphic that we actually need for this whole screen and that's going to be for the background here. Now if you guys have got the latest version of the heads up display stuff um, it's all going to be inside of there and it's also going to be inside of the folder as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that and then we're going to go and import it into the engine. So just give me a second I'll grab that. So inside of the side scroller folder there should be an image called main bg overlay. That's what I've named it as and that's what we need to import. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. So we're going to jump into the engine and we're going to go into our normal blueprints folder where we've got everything else already and we're just going to go ahead and import that file in. So there you are, main BG overlay and we're just going to go ahead and leave it like that. So we don't want to have it as a normal map, so just press revert if that comes up. And we actually need to create a widget for this to actually display it on the screen. So. Having said that, go ahead and open up the widget blue, create a widget blueprint and call this level complete. Once we've done that, all we've got to do is go ahead and import that image in there. And then we also need to add in a bit of text for level complete, the time remaining, and then also something that we can use as a button to return to the menu. So first things first, let's go ahead and add in the image. And this is going to be for the main background overlay. So just go ahead and drag that on the screen and then just go ahead and set the brush image to main background overlay and then just drag it onto the screen just like that. And in terms of anchors, we need to use the one that covers the whole screen. That way it's going to reach the entire player's viewport. So go ahead and line that up, line this up as well because we want it to go all the way over to the edge. We don't want to stretch it over or anything like that and that looks pretty good to me. I'm also going to put a quick piece of text in here that just says level complete. Uh, level complete. There you are. And now I'm going to make this little text box a little bit bigger as our text is slightly bigger in the heads up display version. And I'm going to go ahead and create the font, increase the font size. Drag it in just like this. And there you are. That should be our level complete text. So I'm just going to position it in there and I'm going to make this yellow. There you are, that is perfect. Give it a bit more orange. That is all good. So I'm not going to worry about the rest of the text for now. I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm going to focus more on getting it actually displayed on the screen and setting up the checkpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and compile and save this blueprint and then I'm going to close it. And then from here we're going to create another blueprint class and this blueprint class is just going to be a normal actor and I'm just going to call this level level complete one and this level complete one is going to be used for the first level and that's going to open up the graphic for the first level and I might even add in a little button to tell it to go to level two or level three and so on and so forth. So open this blueprint up, give it a moment and now we actually need to put in a static mesh so the player can actually see this little checkpoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add add component, I'm going to go to static mesh and then under static mesh I'm just going to go ahead and add in a door frame. That way when the player walks through it we know it's going to take them to the next level or you know put the screen on the screen for us. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this and I'm just going to see how it looks in terms of size. So if I chuck that in there I'm going to quickly test whether or not the player can walk through it. I'm also going to go ahead and rotate this just like that because you know we're on one axis and the player needs to be able to walk through it and they can't so I'm going to position it over a little bit more. It's got to be directly in front of the player. I might even make it a little bit bigger actually. But here we go, door frame. Player can walk straight through it. That is all good. So now what we need to do is we need to set up the functionality that tells it to bring up the screen when the player actually walks through this door frame. So open it up, give it a moment and if we go into the viewport there's a couple of things we need to add. First of all, we need to add in some kind of volume. So the volume that we are going to use is a box collision volume and we're going to add it in here. 
Now we don't want it to go all the way too wide. We just want it to be in sort of the center of the door. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch that. And then I'm also going to do that just a little bit and a little bit wider. And it's a bit too tall at the moment. So I'm just going to keep on adjusting this until it fills the door frame and only the door frame. So that is perfect. Cool, so the next thing that I'm going to do then is I'm going to go into my event graph and we're going to set up some simple script. So what I'm going to do is drag in the box and then what I'm going to do is on begin overlap. And then once I've done that, I can actually tell it to fire off some script when another actor begins to overlap with this. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to drag other actor and I'm just going to type in cast to side scroller character. So now what it's going to do is it's going to cast to the side scroller character and when that side scroller character actually overlaps with this box we can tell it to do a little bit of script. So for example if I wanted to I could go ahead and just drag out a print string from this and then I could tell it to say level complete. So this is just more for testing really and we're going to be adding in the widget a little bit later. So press compile and then if we press play Hopefully now, if we walk through this little box collision, it should tell the player level complete. And there you are. And each time I do it, that is working great. So let's go ahead and change that print string into a blueprint, getting it displayed on the screen and everything. So I'm going to get rid of the print string. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it there for now, just so we can see it's all working. And then I'm going to type in create widget. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add this to the viewport so the player can actually see it. And under the widget class, I'm going to go ahead and use level complete. And I'm going to compile that and then let's give this a go. So I press play. You can see the level complete widget now pops up on the screen. But you can see each time that I actually go over this, you can see it's getting brighter and brighter. It's creating another copy. We actually need to pause the game when we tell it to, you know, complete the level. And we're also going to add in a little yeah that's it that's all we got to do we just got to add in the little pause game thing so the player can, can't move anymore so I'm going to go ahead and type in pause set game paused and then I'm just going to tell it to set that to paused and that's great so compile it press play walk through it and the player stops and we've got level complete and that is looking really really great so we need to do a few more things now we need to go ahead and open up the level complete widget blueprint and we need to add in the text for time remaining and we also need to set up the anchor points as the text was a little bit all over the place as well so I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm just going to go ahead and set this level complete anchor to the full screen and hopefully it should be in the same position now nope or what I might do I might just set this to the middle anchor point and do the same for this one as well and hopefully it should be good there you are, level complete, looking good, cool. So, next thing is next, let's go ahead and do this. So what we need to do is we need to add in some text for time remaining. Go ahead and set the text to time remaining. And of course we're gonna make this a little bit bigger, not too big though, because we want it to stand, we want the level complete bit to stand out a little bit more. Drag it into the center. And then we also need to add in some more text in a second. So let me just change this, add the little semicolons on there. And now add two more pieces of text. And the two pieces we've got with text we've got here, we are going to be linking up to the seconds and minutes value of, you know, text and minutes that we've got already. So I'm going to create this binding and I'm going to set this binding to cast to third, not third person, side scroller character. And then as side scroller character, I'm going to get a reference to minutes or seconds. I'm just going to quickly see if I can remember where we put it. So for me, if I remember my minutes and stuff was all inside of the side scroller character. Let's have a look. No, nope, it's probably going to be in the game mode. Yeah, that is it. So we are going to cast to the game mode to side scroller. And then as side scroller character, get minutes. And we are going to go ahead and chuck this in here just like that. 
there you are and two text we need to say minimum integer uh, minimum integral digits is going to be set to two so it has a zero in front of it all the time and then we're just going to go ahead and hook this up just like that so give it a moment we're also going to get game mode here there you are and that should work perfectly so compile that and that is good so we need to go ahead and do the same thing for seconds now also we're going to set the default text to zero zero just so we can position it a little bit better and we're also going to make this a little bit bigger and we're going to set this to something like 30 or whatever this is so 44 let's go ahead and do that 44 drag it in resize it so we've got zero zero and do the same for this one here as well and this one is going to be default zero zero There you are, and then for the binding for this is create the binding. And once again we're doing the same thing. Cast to game mode. And that is gonna be side scroller game mode. And then from here, get game mode. And as side scroller get game mode, get seconds. And then we're just gonna hook it up just like that, and that should be everything. So if I go ahead and compile this now, press play, and if we run through this. You can see it's got the stuff in there. It's just a little bit off position, so we need to go ahead and set the anchor points. So go ahead and select this, and we are gonna anchor this to the middle, and then we're gonna do the same thing for this one as well. And this one here, just make sure that's set to the middle. Compile it, press play. You can see we've got one minute, four seconds left. And when we go over this, it should say one minute, three seconds. That's perfect. We also need to do the minimum integral digits for the second one as well. As you can see, it just said free and not zero free. And press compile, save, and go ahead and do that again. Press play, walk through it, time remaining 0104. So we've got one minute left and four seconds. And that is perfect. Cool. So that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in this video. The video is dragging on a little bit. In the next video, we are going to be working on finishing up the return to menu button, creating a main menu level, not the graphics mind, and just sort of getting the functionality to switch between the two. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out.